Welcome back to Go on Shaw TV. I am joined by Jerry, who is the chair of the Friends of the Upper Fork Gary, as well as Jerry Friesen. You are also a board member and a local historian. And behind us is the only remaining piece of the original part of Upper Fork Gary. Um, how, okay, how did this gate remain and everything else got torn down? I'm interested. That's a good question. <laughs> the gate actually survived because people wanted it to survive in the 1890s. People wanted real estate, and so they took the rest of the park, the fort as it then was, tore it down, all the buildings down, mm -hmm. and left just this one remnant, which the Hudson's Bay Company gave to the people of Winnipeg for free, as long as, as it was a park forever. Interesting. I'm still, and I'm, you guys are going to hear this throughout today's show, but I'm still baffled that um, such an important piece of Manitoba history was just torn down like that. Well, it, the buildings were falling down, is mm -hmm. the first problem. There was five feet of water in the lieutenant governor's basement, which was a bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. And so they decided that they could no longer use these buildings. Mm -hmm. And the Hudson's Bay Company wanted to make money out of the land it owned around this fort. And so it wanted to create city blocks, city lots for houses, and they sold them all and made several million dollars. So many of us drive by this site every single day, and I personally didn't realize how just how steep it is, steeped it is in history. This is the birthplace of Manitoba. Can you give us a I know? Can you give us the Coles Notes version of the history of this site? In 1870, the people of Red River elected a representative government. They met right over here in the uh, what's called the officers' mess of Upper Fort Garry. Mm -hmm. They decided they would join Canada, sent delegates to Ottawa, negotiated a deal called the Manitoba Act. It was brought back here, they passed it with a unanimous vote, and by then that act, Manitoba joined Canada as the first new province in mm -hmm. the Confederation. So it's a beautiful site, it really is. Uh, Jerry, is this developed into what the Friends of Upper Fort Gary had hoped it would be? Yeah, and it was quite a battle getting this. Uh, I mean, if you remember, there were several buildings on site here. There's a curling club right over there, mm -hmm. city building over here. And uh, the city decided to put it up for, for sale or for uh, uh, development. And they sent out an RFP, actually people to make proposals. And there was for a couple of condos and ours. And that's where Heritage Winnipeg played a very important part. They handed up the original battle mm -hmm. to keep this as a fort or as, as a park. So um, there were 10 proposals. We were one of three. Uh, they selected one of the others and we decided to fight it and we did. And we finally got the mayor and the city to agree uh, to let us turn it into a heritage park. And the deal was that the city said, if you can raise $10 million in 107 days, you can have the property. And we did. <laughs> wow. And they did. Wow. So uh, this design, or it's very much like it, has been around for quite some time. Mm -hmm. uh, Gary Hilderman, who unfortunately passed away recently, was the architect who designed the actual site. Mm -hmm. And as you notice on the site here, there's nothing is literal. Everything is interpretive. So you walk around and wonder what these things symbolize. Mm -hmm. Like these iron posts symbolize the fence that surrounded the, go the governor's house. Mm -hmm. This was the governor's garden. And all the foundations symbolized the buildings that were here in 1870. Mm -hmm. But all that was part of the original plan done in the early about 2005 and then we've changed a few things here and there and of course the last part of the park which people will see when they come through is the heritage wall which is 440 feet long and 16 feet high mm. and is standing almost on the site where the original west wall of the fort was it's actually offset by six inches interesting walking through this park is like walking through a museum why is it so important to the friends of upper fort gary to preserve this important piece of history well as you said as jerry said this is places where confederation you know was formed by us entering uh, confederation and uh, the, the birthplace of manitoba and um, uh, what better place to preserve than your actual birthplace it was a long time doing it over 100 years but we finally did it great thank you so much jerry jerry thank you so much you're welcome